soybean, sweet relish, which is in the dice pickles, cheese, and the corn syrup, distilled vinegar, salt, corn syrup, butter, and corn syrup, xanthan gum, calcium chloride, spice extractives, water, I've heard of that, egg yolks, distilled vinegar, spices, onion powder, salt, propylene, glycol, alginate, garlic powder, vegetable protein, which has hydrolyzed corn, soy, and wheat, sugar, palm color, turmeric, extractives of paprika, and of course, soy, lecithin. Now let's compare the cancer rates between our two beautiful countries. This is probably why. This is a huge reason why, and this is so normal to us. We love our crazy ingredients for whatever reason. Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be watching and reacting to the video US vs. UK McDonald's uh, Food Wars. This is by Insider? Food Insider? And I'm guessing just comparing the two, you know, how much the calories, the food, what they have, the differences, because I know they have in, in France, for example, they have macaroons, I think. In Italy, do they have pizzas? I mean, it, it just varies around the world, which I find fascinating. I mean, of course, as an American, I kind of grew up having McDonald's every once in a while uh, when I could uh, beg, beg for it and get my own way when I was a kid. Still go every once in a while. Let's see these differences. That's a lot of food on on their plates right there. Now let me have my own unhealthy white chocolate mocha with a hint of vanilla and we get a start. From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out the biggest differences between UK and US McDonald's. Yes, I do too. This is what a small drink looks like in the UK. Oh boy, this here we go. This is a US small. This is what a medium drink looks like. This is a U.S. medium. And this is a large. Oh, and this is a U.S. large. So just compare to those for a second. And yeah, absolutely believable. I loved drinking soda when I was younger. Even going through high school and college, I would love getting, you know, the, maybe not the largest, but the mediums, which is pretty much, yeah, bigger. It's bigger. It's just how they laid them out uh, than the U.K. Probably anywhere else in the world any other country, we probably have the largest. And on top of this, we have, you can just go refill it yourself. We have the fountains out just in the front of the, uh, not of, of, in the building, but uh, inside the building, you can go and just get as many refills as you want, whenever you want. And there's like 20 options or 10 options. I don't know how much, but of uh, different sodas. So we definitely love it here. It's bad. Really bad. So with our McNuggets in the UK, the default adult sizes on the menu are a box of six, a box of nine, or a share box of 20. Nuggets. Oh boy. You can get a box of four, or you can get a six piece, or 10, 20 for sharing, or- Okay, it's about the same, right? Ah. Party size? 40. And according to the three McDonald's in the area, they don't have 20 or 40 boxes, they just, do them in increments of 10. But this is on the menu. In the UK, we got three sizes of fries. These are our small fries in the paper bag. Here is the small fry. These are our medium fries in the iconic carton. Here yeah. is the medium fries. Ours is and then these are our large fries. Bigger, Here it looks like. I don't know, they're the about the same, fry. right? So we couldn't find an exact weight measurement for the fries online. So what we're gonna do is weigh them ourselves. It looks like the US one is bigger, yeah. It's a lot. Just out of curiosity, we're gonna bring our trusty friend, the scales back, and we're gonna weigh the Big, Big Mac, Mac and see if there is any difference in size. I'm not sure there will be, but let's- What I call it, the Big Mac heart attack. That's what I call it. Let's find out. Perfect. Got to be accurate in these. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Scientific readings. <laughs> Just dump it. Just dump it. Uh, good enough. So while McDonald's fries might look and taste pretty similar in the UK and the US, in the UK we only have three ingredients, which is oil, salt, and potatoes. Oh. The McDonald's French fries in America have way more ingredients. These fries are made from potatoes, obviously. A vegetable oil, which is canola oil, corn oil, soybean oil, hydrogenated, hydrogenated, genitated? Uh, ha! 
Thank you. <laughs> Hydrogenated soybean oil, natural beef flavor, dextrose, sodium, aspid, phosphate, 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 pyrophosphate, pyrophosphate, sodium, acid, pyrophosphate, which is used there to maintain go. the color. Uh, are they that much of a different color than the ones in the UK? Yeah, that's what I was, I was thinking. Ours might look like the slightest bit more golden or like browned, but I think just from how more natural it is in Britain, I feel like those would taste much better. Maybe I'm wrong though, or maybe they're not as crispy. I have no idea, but that would be fun to do like a taste test between the two and see like, is there really a difference? I mean, I love McDonald's fries. I think they're one of the best. Along with In-N-Out, probably don't know what that is, but uh, it's, a, it's a great place. And those are very basic as well. Is it worth it? Can we get a side-by-side -side comparison? Are they that much more exactly. bright yellow? Exactly. Put sodium acid pyrophosphate or whatever it's called in it. Ours looks so, more fake. And I should mention that a natural beef flavor contains hydrolyzed wheat and hydrolyzed milk as a starting ingredient. And of course, I have no idea what that means. So the biggest calorie difference in a Big Mac actually comes from the sauce. In the US, they've got about 40 more calories than we do in the UK. We're not sure if this is because there's more sauce or because of the ingredients list. In the UK, it's just a little bit more simple. Yeah, which I like. Our sauce is made of soybean oil, sweet relish, which is made of diced pickles, sugar, high fructose corn syrup, distilled vinegar, salt, corn syrup, all right, two, two types of corn syrup, xanthan gum, yeah. Calcium chloride spice extractives, water, I've heard of that. Egg yolks, Finally. distilled vinegar, spices, onion powder, salt, propylene glycol alginate, garlic powder, vegetable protein, which has hydrolyzed corn, soy, and wheat, sugar, caramel color, turmeric, extractives of paprika, and of course, soy lecithin. Now let's compare the cancer rates between our two beautiful countries. This is probably why. This is a huge re reason why, and this is so normal to us. We love our crazy ingredients for whatever reason. I don't know what it is. It's, I mean, you would think they would try to go for like the cheaper option that still tastes the same. This seems way like, I don't know. It's crazy. Leechathen. Let me know what you think. Lechathen. I don't it's know. It's still, still going. Stop. If you are trying to eat healthily at McDonald's, it might actually be the drinks that you have to look out for. Ooh. That's nothing, guys. Oh. Our chocolate shake, 840 That's calories. Incredible. That's as many calories as two cheeseburgers and one hamburger. So what does that all mean? If you were to walk into a UK McDonald's and order yourself a large Big Mac meal with a milkshake, it would be around 1,400 calories. And if you were to get meal. the large Big Mac meal with the chocolate shake in America, I don't see the it. total here is 1,870 calories. So that's 1,870 calories. The daily calorie allowance yep. for an American dude is 2,500. Okay, so you have 630 left. Uh, one McNugget is 55 calories, right? So you could also have uh, 11 more nuggets and uh, You're done there for you the go. Day. That's all you need for the day. Yeah, right? And people have, as you know, our portion sizings are massive here. I feel like our stomachs have been expanded and there's no going back. And that is what is normal to us. And that is uh, why we're not the skinniest country in the world. That was sarcasm, by the way. Here's everything you can only get at a UK McDonald's. So here we've got the Veggie Deluxe Burger, which is a veggie burger that's served with some mayo and some lettuce. Here we've got a chicken legend, which is legend. a chicken burger. Again, served with mayo and lettuce. Hmm. Chicken legend, I, I don't even know what that is. Yeah. Not gonna catch on. No. I can stay in the UK. We have no, a range of wraps that you can get in the UK. We have a wrap of the day. Here we've got the fajita crisp, which is some chicken, along with some veg and some spicy fajita sauce. Here we've got some veggie dippers. These were actually introduced as part of Veganuary in 2020 in the UK, but they've stuck on the menu. So these are vegan society approved and they're sort of like a fried bean patty sort of thing. Like pick a more unappetizing thing to get at McDonald's. That just differs. And then finally we've got some mozzarella dippers, which are just kind of mozzarella sticks really. Yeah. Well, sucks to be in the UK because everything you see right here is USA only, baby.
Yeah, welcome, welcome to America. Welcome to the U.S. Probably Canada as well. I, I could only imagine because uh, we're neighbors. Yeah, I could. All those coffee drinks are, I don't know, not new, but as far as McDonald's goes, they're fairly new. And I see a shamrock shake on the right, that greenish drink, I'm pretty sure. They only come out with that near uh, St. Patrick's Day. McFlurry, I see. Some sandwiches. I don't know. It's just a big, big mess of fat and calories. Ha ha! USA only! So I'm gonna talk about the coffee drinks real fast. Here in the US, we have all the same coffee drinks they do in the UK, but every coffee drink has an iced version and yep. also a caramel yep. and or French vanilla yep. and or mocha version, depending Absolutely. on what you're getting. 100%. So we in the US, of course, have more variety. Shamrock Shake. The Shamrock Shake is like, it's like vanilla and mint shake. Strawberry Sunday. This has recently been discontinued in the That's UK. That's why, yeah, I've never Sorry, had guys. It. Still got in the US. My favorite as a kid. Caramel Sunday. Fruit and yogurt part. And those things are so cheap. Like you get a Sunday and it's like, I don't, I don't know, a buck 50 or something like that. It's so cheap Perfect. here. Maybe it's healthy, I have no idea. Probably not. Those were the cold items I wanted to get out of the way as they slowly melt under these lights. Got a lot more to go through. Harry, bear with me here, buddy. Buttermilk, crispy chicken sandwich. Yo, I think this was introduced when the chicken sandwich wars were really heating up when Chick-fil-A started taking over. Let's see what's under the hood. And Popeyes. Like that. Like this. Yeah. Quarter pounder with cheese, deluxe. This is your fancy quarter pounder with cheese. This is uh, oh no. for a Sunday dinner. When you have company over. Ah, there's so much. Sausage breakfast burrito. Even after it's, for a while, it's like still like glowing yellow. <laughs> that meat looks, to me, nasty in there. Now these are the buttermilk the sausage crispy chicken tenders. These smell amazing. Oh, I wanna just bite into these so bad. <laughs> I just take a big bite. I wanna talk about sauces real quick. Okay, I'm at McDonald's and I go, give me one of everything. I've heard from the, I've heard from Harry and the team over at the UK that some of these they don't have, including sweet and sour, honey mustard. What else don't you guys have? I don't think you guys have ranch either or buffalo. I gotta say though, the sauces are everything. We've got a couple of sauces that are kind of unique to the UK as well. We've got a sweet oh. curry dipping sauce. Yeah, no, definitely and then not. We've also got a here. salsa dip as well, which I didn't know existed until today. Oh, yes. Yeah, Americans love options. We are all about options, options, options. Anything with options will flourish here. McDonald's, uh, they're following the trend. Donut sticks. These donut sticks? Donut sticks. Never knew Also we had come those. with the chocolate dipping sauce. Donut Another thing sticks. I'm certain they don't have in the UK. Yo! <laughs> Breakfast is served! Oof. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Your Who's body's ready to start the day. It's McGriddle talk. The one thing that I do like from McDonald's, I don't like anything other than their breakfast and certain breakfasts. It's like when I'm on a road trip or something, it's a very good place to stop, at least for me. Just kind of quickly stop by, get a McGriddle or just something like the pancakes, the hotcakes that they have there. It's it's uh, the deluxe breakfast. Those are what I enjoy and I like. I do like their coffees. Uh, there and it's on the cheaper side. So it's it's perfect for you know when I travel I don't generally just go out of my house to get food from McDonald's That was horrible. <laughs> that was horrible So for those of you in the UK who don't know what a McGriddle is uh, the United States McDonald's had this genius idea What if we took breakfast sandwiches replaced the buns and made them pancakes? and somehow injected some sort of syrup flavor into the pancakes. And the McGriddle was born, and I have to say, they're fantastic. This one right here, the bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle. Doesn't it look just fantastic in that packaging? This is the uh, sausage. Yeah. Very simple, Hi. very simple. Hey. Hey. This is the sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle. American food engineering at its finest. Yeah, oh, get, getting a little better, I guess. In the UK, you guys call biscuits cookies. Here, no. So in the UK, biscuits are cookies, or what we call cookies. In the US, uh, biscuits are what we call, uh, I don't know what else you can call them. Where does it go like, with this? 
You bake them and they're from the south and they're dry and I don't know what they are. Much like the McGriddles, we have a version of every breakfast sandwich that instead of the regular bun bread, it's biscuits. Not the cookie biscuits mm. like you guys have. Yeah. Um, these biscuits. Joe, you were so close on the whole cookie biscuit thing. What you guys call biscuits, we would actually kind of call scones. Sc oh, scones. I was just pausing it until I saw that guy's face on that biscuit of what you guys do call biscuits over in, you know, Britain and UK. And that makes sense. Like scones? Scones? I mean, there's maybe a slight difference for us with what scones are, but it's, yeah, very, very similar. Scones, depending on where you're from. And the thought of putting breakfast food in between them is kind of weird. They're usually reserved for cream and jam for an afternoon tea. And that makes more sense. Honestly, they're not that bad. They like deck out. Once again, it's super unhealthy here, and that's why it tastes pretty good. It's just packed with butter, it seems like, and all sorts of good um, artery clogging ingredients. With uh, jelly or, or, or cream, it, it sounds way better. You do it better there. Last. It's not bad though. And in my opinion, least is this thing, the Southwest Grilled Chicken Salad. That's what's a lot of calories. Oh. If you're trying to eat healthy, don't put that on there. Don't put that on there. Look how many calories is on there next time you go. Yeah. Can I, can I eat go. now? Yeah, yeah. I don't care how many calories, it's just really good. Mm hmm <laughs> I like that a lot. That was really good. It was just straight to the point, jump straight in, no fluff, and uh, straight to the calories and the fat. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this. I wanna know, like, do, I know fast food is, I don't know how common over there, but I definitely did see it. I don't know what is the most popular fast food chain there. Maybe it is McDonald's. I know places like KFC are popular as well around the world. Let me know what you think about this comparison. If you did, do people go there very often? Um, Cause I think people here go there pretty often. And as you can tell, it's really bad. A lot of options, a lot of, uh, a lot of calories in these bigger sizes, just a whole, whole lot of not, not good stuff going on, but it is pretty tasty. I, I will give that. I would like to compare the differences though between the two, like a basic burger and, and fry compared to ours over here, because the less ingredients over there, it makes it way more simple and probably tastes better and more natural. I thought that was a very good video. So let me look at the comments to see. There has to be some funny ones in the comments here. That was, that was great. I like that a lot. Definitely a like from me. Oh, UK, UK McDonald's fries equal potatoes. US McDonald's fries equals chemistry lesson. That is very true from what we just saw. It's crazy. And then and the burger was way, way worse. I love how the UK large drink is almost the same size as the US small drink. Yeah, that's, everything's, everything's bigger here, it seems like. My teacher told me to name 20 elements in the periodic table. So I said, American McDonald's French fry, and she gave me an A minus. That'd be great if she, she, if she saw this video, she probably would have a good laugh about that. America, why are our obesity rates so high? Also America, this, this chemical lesson, as someone put it earlier. UK prepares their fries in the kitchen. US prepares their fries in a meth lab. Seems like it. Seems like there's crazy scientists behind all of these weird mixtures. Of, like, how do they even get to that that point? Why can't they just keep it simple? Doesn't it seem like it'd be more cost effective as well? But maybe it's just to they could store ours a lot, lot scarily, a lot longer, perhaps, because it's less fresh and um, more cost effective. Maybe just just to follow up with what I just said. UK, let's buy my lunch. US, let's buy lunch that lasts for 365 days. Yeah. This just gives me the realization that the UK has regard for its citizens' lives. So that was another question. I wonder if just the government in general, I know I have a video that I'm going to react to about the difference in chocolates there. To count as chocolate over here, you need much, it's like hardly anything, a couple percent 
I think cocoa or cacao. Cocoa, one's processed, one's not, I'm blanking on it. Cocoa. In Europe in general, in the UK, it's a lot higher to be actually called, to legally call it chocolate. So that's kind of what I'm thinking here. I wonder if it's uh, same kind of things where the government has these curbs to stop these chemical lessons and the, all these chemicals going into their food to kind of protect their citizens and keep everything more, more healthy and less crazy like this. And that's probably why we have all these weird cancers here because we grow up with this stuff. Just, just a thought, I don't know if it's true, but it kind of seems like that could be a real case scenario. So yeah, thanks for watching. That was great. I'm gonna do more of these. I'm gonna do the chocolate one. And there's like other ones that I saw that were along these same lines. And until next time, thanks for joining and uh, see you there. Have a good day.